There's a lot of confusion as to why people would ever use anything other than a full-size keyboard or at a stretch, a 10 keyless. Some people don't want to have to access home, end or the arrow keys through a layer and some people seem to think that it isn't possible to use those keys on a 60% board at all. Let's clear up some of the confusion. On a poker, you can in fact access most of the keys that you can on a full-size keyboard, similar to the way laptops use a function key for things like brightness and volume control. On fully programmable boards, you can access all the same keys. So if you always use scroll lock, you can put that on the default layer if you like. You sick freak. Okay, so maybe you get the whole layers thing and you understand that even though you can't see any keys labeled with arrows, those boards do have that functionality. But you still don't understand why anyone would choose to use such a small keyboard. And if they do, then they must only use their keyboard for baby stuff like emails and playing video games. That's me by my size, do you? Hmm? Hmm. And where you should not. So here's a list of reasons that might help you to understand. Some people have smaller desks, and for those people, a keyboard that takes up less space fits into the way they use their keyboard. Some people don't need access to every key on a full-size layout. They'd rather not have them there at all. Some people like these boards because they can take them anywhere and still enjoy the feel of a mechanical keyboard that works just the way they like it. Having more functionality closer to the home rows means that you don't need to move your hands away from that position so much. The arrow keys are right there around the home row using those wonderful function layers. 60% boards look sweet, admit it, they just do. Even people that don't or won't use them admit they are cool. Take a look at all the cool 60% keyboards in my series, This Is My 60, for proof. Because many 60% boards have standardized around the size and PCB layout of the poker, there is a lot of choice for customization. There are loads of cases and PCBs, which means that a 60% is often the best way to start customizing. So, the purpose of this video isn't to convert people into throwing their full-size boards in the bin and go out and buy a 60% but to help people at least understand that for some people it does make sense and that there are tons of different use cases for keyboards, more than I could possibly mention in this video. Thanks for watching, see you in the next one.